Hello and welcome to the Mad Leprechaun. My name is Mert Walsh. Over the past year, I have been lucky enough to ride a selection of different makes and models of bikes. This video is effectively my pick of 2024. If that's something that interests you, please do stick around and stay tuned. I'd laugh at the intro. I had planned to do a top 10 and then decided against. So I've chosen four. One bike that is incredibly special. Another bike that surprised me a lot and impressed me. So I thought, well, that should make the cut. Another bike that really, it truly got my pulse racing and brought the adrenaline whew, a bit too high. Um, so I thought that has to go in. And another bike that I thought, oh, if only I had the money, I'd buy one. And that one is right at the end of the video. So stick around and stay tuned for that. So here is my pick for most special bike of 2024. Why, I hear you say, it's a Triumph Bonneville. No, I say, it's a Triumph Bonneville T120 Elvis Presley Edition. One of only 925 bikes made worldwide. The engine is smooth and torquey and plays a beautiful soundtrack. That is so typically Triumph. Retro styling and modern engineering at its finest. The bike looks like it could have come from the 60s, but don't be fooled, this bike can hustle. The bike looks beautiful. I would go so far as to say it's photogenic. I don't think it's got a bad angle. It really does feel quality and well put together. Guaranteed to make any rider feel special. It's true, as this is no ordinary triumph, attention to detail is evident. Hand-painted pinstripe on the fuel tank and loads of Triumph logos, with an Elvis Presley signature on the fuel tank and side panels. All adding up to one very special motorcycle, and my pick for most special motorcycle of 2024. So there was the Triumph Bonneville Elvis Presley edition. Can't disagree, it's special. So to the most surprising bike I've ridden in 2024, and I have to say this bike really did impress me a lot. It has to be the Suzuki V-Strom 800 RE. Whatever you want to call this bike, a middleweight or a budget bike, the V-Strom 800 comes relatively well equipped with a full color TFT screen and a quick shifter as standard. The engine is more than powerful enough and I felt it was well put together. No nasty rattles or vibrations from the 776cc engine. I really didn't expect to be so impressed, but I am happy to report I was. The V-Strom was awesome in town, excellent on the dual carriageway and a delight on the A and B roads. The screen sheltered me from most of the breeze and the TFT screen gave me all the information I could need. Yes, the bike is built to a price point, which means you won't break the bank to get yourself on the road. Honestly, I really was pleasantly surprised by the Suzuki V-Strom 800RE. 
one very underestimated motorcycle and my pick for most pleasantly surprised 2024. Well, we're nearly halfway there. We go from a middleweight to a heavyweight or sublime to ridiculous. This is my pick for the most adrenaline packed ride of 2024. It can only be one bike. My cousin's favourite. The KTM 1390 Super Duke Evo R. 190 brake horsepower of total attitude. The bike makes a statement standing still. With aggressive styling and in-your-face colouring, this is a KTM make no mistake. Jump on board if you dare, only to find that the KTM 1390 Super Duke batters your riding and can be ridden sedately. However, this Jekyll and Hyde bike has 145 newton meters of torque on tap. So open the throttle too hard and the front wheel makes for the sky. This bike should come with a warning, highly addictive and may turn a sedate rider into a hooligan. The bike is well equipped with every electronic device you could possibly imagine. Semi-active suspension, traction control, riding modes and much more besides. The engine, the power plant, the heart of this beautiful beast is an amazing 75 degree V-twin that makes the most amazing growl on induction. Surprisingly, it wasn't uncomfortable. As I am a 6 foot 5 rider, I fit it on without any issues. So, the KTM 1390 Super Duke wins the most adrenaline packed ride of 2024. I only hope the KTM can survive whatever issues they may be having at the moment. The world needs a bike like this. Last and by no means least, as I said at the start of the video, I've been lucky enough to ride a lot of different bikes this year and occasionally I get asked, well, would you like to buy it? And normally the answer is no, but on this occasion the answer would be yes. This bike, out of all of the bikes I've ridden this year, would be the one, it really would be the one, that I would absolutely love to put in my garage. It can only be one motorbike. Drum roll, if you please. For me, it just had to be the BMW F 900 GS. I rode this beautiful bike earlier this year and fell totally in love with it. The styling, the handling, the road holding, the way the bike produced power. It was comfortable and capable. I absolutely loved the looks of the bike and I wanted the bike to feel and perform as good as it looked. I wasn't disappointed. In fact, it surpassed all of my expectations. I so wanted to keep riding and riding and riding and just not bring the bike back. And that has to be a good thing, right? The 895cc parallel twin, 105 brake horsepower and 93 newton meters of torque. The bike weighs in at about 219 kilograms wet. Yes, this bike is very much off-road focused, but it's fantastic fun on the road. Seriously, it is serious fun, and that's 
why I love the bike so much. I love the looks of the bike. I love the way the bike handled. I love the engine noise. I love the, the exhaust note. Yes, I love everything about the bike. And that's why the BMW F900 GS is my pick for my favorite bike of 2024 and the one that I would love to have in my garage. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed this video for any particular reason whatsoever, please feel free to leave a thumbs down. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section below, and hopefully, all being well, I shall see you in the next one very, very soon. Until next time, people, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.